we've been going around the world for four years non-stop now. So yeah, it's lovely when you get on and it's really nice, but everything just shuts, shuts down and stops. Home is where the heart is, as they say. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So how much time did you spend down here? <coughs> Every Saturday afternoon, pack of roast, roast, roast beef monster munch. <laughs> you know the orange that you can taste it bitter. You know that weren't quite, quite diluted enough yeah. with a straw. <laughs> lots of snooker, lots of football. <laughs> It was the working class thing to come here, weren't it? You know, and and uh, and, and, and just, uh, just, it's just, it's just, it's just a community thing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You know, it's, it's a Phoenix Nights, isn't it? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's real life. It's real yeah. life, you know. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Oh, right, mate. How are you, mate? How are you, mate? Had my membership card ready. Me, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. you wind me up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're Tom Senior. I'm, I'm Tom Senior. Hello, yeah. nice to meet you. Better known as Fat Tom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. It's been an experience, to be honest. Yeah. Met some people, as you do. Yeah. You know. But, um, you know, life's... I'm still the same bloke. Still go window cleaning in the morning and that. And my son's a bit of a star, and so is Serge, and so is Chris. You, you know, the band is a bit. Yeah, I am, yeah. Because, well, I, we grew up, they all grew up together, didn't they? That's the main thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they're still pals, and I think they'll always will be pals. <laughs> Say Harry Potter, we don't trust you, don't we? Yeah, thought you'd say that. Thought you'd say something like that. People say, how you doing, Tom? You're like, how you doing, mate? You know, but the, the, they, they see you as that, and that's what they see you as, and it's, it's wonderful, you know. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yo, what's up? I know y'all could tell by the freshness of the glasses, but I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm Kanye West. <laughs> The premier men's grooming salon. Yeah. Smells nice. Smells delicious, doesn't it? It's where all mm. of the politicians come. In fact, royalty, Prince Charles. This oh. is where he gets uh, groomed and pampered. Oh. Now, this fragrance, this is the Bond fragrance. This is in Casino Royale. Where are James Bond rock this? Yeah. Let's see. Is Let's this see if good I can be the black bond. Okay. You are already, darling. Mm. Good enough for you. Yes, it's kind yeah, of good. Yeah, it's good. Do I get an Aston Martin with that? <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is Manchurian Badger. From Badger? The, yeah, from the Himalayas, the only one in the world. Wow. That's the only thing we think is good enough to go on this face. That's dope. Do you all have beaver or just badger? Just badger. <laughs> I'm into beaver. <laughs> You're into beaver. Can uh, someone get a beaver <laughs> now? <laughs> oh, ooh. Didn't know it's gonna be cold like this. So what have you put on Kanye's face? This is the coral skin for just to soften all the beard before mm -hmm. you put the hot towels on. How often do you think Kanye should have something like this with the busy schedule that he's got? Well, yeah, I mean, for himself, to be quite honest, I'd say even, what, twice a week, maybe more, depending on how busy you are. How does that sound, Kanye? Yeah, it sounds like the promised land. Do you think even as a guy, you feel sort of, you know, pressured to stay trim and look fit? I could give you a politically correct answer, like, yeah, working out is just good to be healthy. But you know what? Fuck that. I like being able to take my shirt off. It's, a... <laughs> <laughs> it's not really about health for me at all. When you were first trying to get that deal, when you were the producer and everyone only saw you as a producer, do you think, you know, four years, five years down the line, you would be this big? I'm gonna tell you, I never thought I would be able to rap as good as I do today. I, I just, I was trying my best just to make some songs that people like. Mm. I thought maybe I could be a big superstar or something, like a total package type thing. Right, more but, of an entertainer. Yeah, more of a full-on entertainer. It feels good to actually be really considered to be a credible producer, a credible mm -hmm. rapper, a credible, you know, stage performer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the next challenge for you? Public perception, you know? Getting people just to really feel and see who I am as a person and that let the media taint their image of me. Does it hurt you when you read wrong things about you? Yes, it does. It actually affects me. It hurts my feelings because I just think, like, who's reading this? Who's thinking 
you know, they're thinking something wrong about me. It's not true. Mm. I mean, I do enough uh, stuff that's, uh, you know, bad on my own and stuff. I don't need people to add to it. <laughs> <laughs>